Hey YouTube viewers, TJ Pyramid here with uh, another little update. Um, went out and about today and uh, looked for a couple things and of course didn't find a couple things and uh, just uh, kind of rumbled across a few other little goodies that we decided to pick up. Um, I'll go ahead and show the uh, t-shirts we picked up. Um, if you live in North America or whatever, I I'm pretty sure that all the malls here have stores called Hot Topic, which is like a, oh, it's a terrible store, but uh, we walked by there today, and uh, they had like these boxes out of uh, just t-shirts they were getting rid of, and uh, they were basically four bucks a piece. Now, if you know anything about Hot Topic, you know their shirts are usually $20, 20 to 22 bucks or something like that a piece. So, I mean, the wife went in and just started diving into them and uh, looking for stuff. Uh, a lot of junk shirts, but they have a lot of uh, shirts that um, movie related stuff, uh, wrestling, comic related stuff. So uh, it's kind of crowded, so we dug in through and found some of the best stuff we could find. I'll show you the two I picked up first. I picked up the uh, WWE 13 CM Punk shirt. I really like that picture there. And uh, the other one that I picked up was a kick-ass shirt. I want you to kick ass. So that was pretty cool. I was happy to find those. Like I said, like four bucks a piece. So that was a great deal. And the wife found a couple shirts. A couple shirts I would have loved to have. And actually, now that I we thought about it on the way home, why didn't I buy a couple of these ones here? These are girl shirts, you know, because they were in the girl section. She found the uh, Goonies right here. And we live in Oregon, so, you know, kind of cool. Shows the house and everything. Why didn't I get a couple of these and just cut them out and put them on the back of hoodies and make patches out of them like I usually do? Didn't even think about it. And uh, this one here is really cool. Really like this one. The Night of the Living Dead right there. So, fantastic little finds there really happy you know 16 bucks for all these shirts uh, which I'll pay you know three four bucks for a t-shirt I'll pay that all day long I have no trouble paying that much for a brand new shirt especially high quality ones and uh, now on to the uh, DVDs blu-rays um, wife's starting to get into some more science fiction-y fantasy type stuff. Uh, we watched Elysium the other night and she really enjoyed that so that kind of piqued her interest on uh, sci-fi fantasy type things. Uh, so we kind of talked about the Mad Max films and uh, I told her my favorite one was this one right here. I love Beyond Thunderdome. So uh, love the artwork. So we picked up the old clip case one. This is at the uh, the Wrench Records the store that I did videos on before where they're still selling everything for three dollars and below. So uh, pick that up there. Why is this my favorite Mad Max? Um, I like the characters in it. Uh, I like the we don't need another hero. We don't need another world. So yeah, love the song. Tina Turner's great in it. Uh, and probably because I've seen this more than the others. I've seen this dozens of times. I just really think it's a fun film. Uh, next up here uh, picked up this one here because uh, when I was showing my slip cases, I said, you know, when I first watched this movie, it didn't really, it wasn't really that good to me. So a couple of people were like, are you nuts? This is, this is the best slasher film in the history of slashers. Basically, something like that. So I was like, all right, next time I go out, I'll pick it up if it's cheap enough, and I'll give it another watching. And that's a unrated director's cut of Hatchet 2 by, of course, Adam Green. Daniel Harris, Tony Todd. So uh, I'll give it another chance. And this was super cheap on Blu-ray. This was actually like, I think like 8 to $9 cheaper on Blu-ray than it was on DVD. So, you know, this is just a couple dollars. So I'll give it another shot. And uh, if I don't like it, I'm going to chuck it. That's what I'm going to do. Give it another shot. Uh, next up here, uh, this is another one. They had this version here, and then they had another one next to it. They were both used, and uh, these were bought at FYE, so they, it's the uh, buy two used, get the third thing for a dollar. Uh, and this one was a couple dollars cheaper than the one that was only one disc. 
uh, and didn't really have that many special features, but uh, this is a fun film. Um, like a lot of video game films, you know, it's uh, it's gotten its own fair share of uh, negative press, but uh, hey, I enjoyed it. Uh, I like Jake Gyllenhaal. Uh, I like Jim Archerton, so Prince of Persia, Sands of Time. This is the uh, big fat three-disc one here. So I just couldn't pass that up for the press. I mean, the one disc one was actually more expensive than this one of the Blu-ray. So, uh, yeah. And uh, as I told you, Aaron, in the comment, like I get these things here, uh, I will be sending you the magic code that's under this piece of paper here in APM. So look for that. Uh, this was used, so I'm not sure if that magic code for the Disney thing will have been used already or not, but I'll send it to you anyway. And uh, if it works, cool. If it doesn't, Hey, at least I sent it to you. Uh, next up here, we have a uh, Manaja, Mananja, Manaja. Man called Blade, either way. This is a good Blue Underground release here. Uh, directed by Sergio Martino, the man behind Mountain of the Cannibal God, uh, and Torso. Love Torso. So right here, very cool here. Uh, let's see, um... Mauricio Merli, the iconic star of 70s Italian cop movie, stars as a hatchet-wielding bounty hunter with a dark past, even more desperate future. Uh, one man stalks a savage land where justice walks a razor and no bullet slice deeper than vengeance. He is a man called Blade. John Steiner, uh, Donald O'Brien, and uh, like I said, of course, co-written and directed by Sergio Martino, so glad to have another blue underground. A uh, couple little special features there. Interviews and whatnot, trailer, poster, and still gallery, but uh, always nice to have more new Blue Undergrounds in the collection. And uh, speaking of collection, always nice to have some more Midnight movies in the collection. Got the uh, Ingrid Pitt double feature here, Countess Dracula and the Vampire Lovers, the Midnight movies. Absolutely cool. Really fabulous. Uh, both movies have audio commentaries on them, uh, both featuring Ingrid Pitt. Uh, you get some uh, Carmilla excerpts read by Ingrid Pitt. Um, let's see, then you get the original theatrical trailers. So, yeah. Of course, the empty artwork of the Midnight Movies discs there. So, really happy to get that, though. Really cool, really fun. Love the Midnight Movies. Uh, really cool when they come with some sort of special feature. So, yeah, there's the uh, small update there. And uh, the few shirts that we got, really happy to grab these shirts here. Love them. Uh, hopefully we get back down there and I can pick up a couple more of those shirts. The Goonies one and the Night of Living Dead to make uh, patches out of for hoodies. So, uh, yeah. Well, thanks for watching. Comment down below. Subscribe. Spread the word. And cheers.